So in this episode of Viral Rewind, we're looking at another Windows virus, this one being the Pikachu email worm. So being an email worm, it comes in through your email, probably through Microsoft Outlook, most commonly. And you get this little program attached to the email called Pikachu. And it's got this little icon of Pikachu on there when you run it. It does two things. Number one, it tries to mass mail itself. And I don't exactly have Outlook configured for that on this computer, but if it was, it would try to show messages being sent out to all the contacts if they were there. So it can spread itself. Again, it's an email worm. The second part is the payload here. It says, Between millions of people around the world, I found you... Don't forget to remember this day every time, my friend. And then it tells you to go to the website at http colon slash slash www.pikachu.com. Basically just brings up Pikachu from the Pokedex from the Pokemon library. Along with this little hopping animation of Pikachu. So you might think nothing of it. You get the email, you open it, it brings you that nice little friendly message you think nothing of it so you go to restart your computer or shut it down for the day and look back at it later but has it actually done something let's find out so the computer's rebooting here And we've got a question being asked here. It says, all files in directory will be deleted. Are you sure? Yes or no? Now, that would kind of get your attention when you turn your computer back on another day or restart it for some reason after running that Pikachu program. We'll just say no. Hmm. We get it again. All files in directory will be deleted. Are you sure? Yes, no. Again, we'll say no. Now Windows is booting up normally. So the question is, is why are those two file deletion questions there? Well, that's because Pikachu is a batch file modifying virus. What it does, and we'll look at it here, it's added two lines to the autoexec.bat file, which, of course, loads up commands or programs that are added to it line by line whenever DOS or Windows starts up. So again, what it has done is it has modified the autoexec batch file to try and delete files off the computer and we're going to look up the autoexec.bat file here and lets you see exactly what changes it's made to it. So, go to our C directory, go to autoexec, and if you see here it has two lines, technically it's actually added three if you count the at echo off. It's added a delete command to delete all files out of the Windows directory and to delete all files out of the system directory. Now the reason the at echo off is here is so you don't see these two delete lines when the system boots up. It, what echo does when you put echo off like that it hides all the lines in autoexec.bat so you can't see what command is being run. So to the user you wouldn't see this. You would just see the question, yes or no, whether we want to delete that. And that's the error. See, it's trying to delete files in Windows and in the system directory, both of those directories. But the problem is it just fails at it because it's using the wrong method to do it. The delete command like this requires a confirmation, which is why it was asking us that question about whether we wanted to delete all the files in the directory, yes or no. So, this doesn't work, the virus fails at what it does for its payload, and, well, 
That's pretty much all the Pikachu virus does. Again, it's an email worm, so you get it via email, you execute the attachment that it is, then it mass mails itself again to whatever context you've got, and it spreads that way. And then the payload tries to delete the files in the Windows directory and the system directory, but again, because of the way it does it, it fails at doing so.